Today's video was sponsored by carrots. We're actually all right if you put other stuff on us. I wouldn't consider my pa <laughs> What? <laughs> health nuts, more like health kernels. They would never buy unhealthy snacks, but they wouldn't force me and my siblings to go outside and play because it was always burning hot. And we just licked the melted candy off the sidewalk anyways. They would never buy sugary cereal. The most sugary cereal my parents got was Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> but my mom would mix the Honey Nut Cheerios with regular ones to make it more healthy or something. So I would start every day spending 15 minutes picking out the regular Cheerios from the cereal bowl. That's right, my parents didn't buy us cable, Cocoa Puffs, or candy. My life sucked. So like when I was a kid, my mom <laughs> literally bought us the most unhealthiest stuff. Like it would always be like pizza. Now that we're older, big, big health freak. Sugary cereal for one day out of the year. And that was on Christmas morning. It's a fun tradition and we still do it to this day. As a kid, I would always get jealous when my friends would pull out their Lunchables and tell me how much their family ate out and all the sugary cereals they got to eat. Meanwhile, I had a PB&J sandwich on wheat bread with the crust still on, but it's okay because I like the crust. But now look. I'll be honest, like now that I'm a grown man, this is literally the perfect idea of a family. Like that's, when I have a family, I'm gonna be the healthy family. People might look at this and like, be like, oh, he didn't really have a childhood. You weren't allowed to eat sugary things. No, bro, that's why you're not fat. So honestly, shout out to your parents. They did the right thing. I'm just so grateful that my mom cared enough about my health See? to instill these healthy eating habits into me at a young age. I hey, mean shout out mom, yo, you the real MVP. Like right now we're in an epidemic and the epidemic we're having right now is obesity. Like, I'm sorry, it's the truth, man, it's the truth them anymore because I live on my own and I don't know how to cook and bagel bites taste so darn good, but I'm still thankful my mom taught me what I should be doing. No, hey, I'm gonna be real for all the grown men and women out there. You gotta learn how to cook. Parents watching this going, hmm, I like the way this James's mom character thinks. Mm -hmm. Good. I would recommend to all parents that you should be teaching your kids healthy eating habits as soon as possible. Yes, sir. This is so important. I'm older and wiser, I'm thankful that I like the taste of wheat bread. My parents had a saying. We only got one body and we only got one life. Take care of yourself, please. The bread, the sooner you're dead. They would Whoa. always get wheat bread. <laughs> Even for hot dog and hamburger buns, they got wheat. Some of you might have had to use sandwich bread as hot dog buns. You're poor, I get it. But at least you didn't have to use <laughs> wheat bread. I use wheat bread for everything. Like, I don't know what you're talking about, James. I still get the wheat bread because I don't want to die young. I still have YouTube videos to make. Some things <laughs> never change, I guess. Except I do get the white hot dog buns. The wheat ones are still gross. When I was a very little kid, my dad's work was throwing a barbecue get together thing and I got to eat as many hot dogs on white bread as I could <laughs> handle. But the best part of it all was I got to wash it down with soda. I do not drink soda. A lot of people like get mad at me when I say that. Now that I'm in the Midwest, they call it pop over here. But if you do catch me drinking soda, that's not me. That's an easy clone. Very sugar deprived back home. I had to catch up on all the sugar I was missing out on. I don't remember Sheesh. what the soda was exactly, but let's just say for the sake of this story, it was an original bottle of Coke from the 1800s. <laughs> it might as well have had cocaine because I was addicted to all the- Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're a wild boy. Stuff they added into that drink. Pretty soon, my tummy started to get the rumblies, Ooh. and I had no idea what was causing it. So I told my dad, Dad, my tummy hurts. And he said, hmm, it's probably because you're dehydrated. Here, have some soda. And I still respected my dad at that age and thought he knew- Bruh. <laughs> That's some terrible advice, okay? And if you're really trying to help him, Dad, you're supposed to give him ginger ale. Why are you giving him soda when he says his tummy hurts? You know what you should have done? You should have got some tubs. And then <laughs> ginger ale, what are you doing? What type of fatherly advice is this, bro? <laughs> about, so I drank more soda. And then I threw up and my dad uh said, we should leave. I mentioned this <laughs> next story in my first book, available in bookstores near you. Be on the lookout for book number two, coming out at the end of March. But one time my mom bought a giant three pound bag of Skittles. I forgot what she bought them for, but they definitely weren't for us. She locked them away in a closet because she knew what us kids would do if we got our grubby little hands on the Skittles. This wasn't the first time I- Bro, my red flag. Even though I'm such a health freak, my red flag is that if I see candy, no matter how big the bag is, I have to finish it that same day. I'm sorry, I have to finish it. Like, I'll just see it and I have to finish it. That's why I don't get sweets. Candy from us. But this time, she forgot to lock the closet, <gasps> leaving the Skittles unprotected. And me and my older brother ate the entire thing. Oh, and oh. we would have gotten away with it, 
But then something came up. Puke. I oh. threw up on the family room carpet. My mom saw how rainbow the throw up was <laughs> and immediately put two and two together and knew that we had gotten into our Skittles. The funny part of this story is that my older brother got punished, but I didn't because- Wow, and now your mom sees this video and she's gonna remember, she's gonna be like, hold up, I remember that. Oh, James thinks he's off the hook? And she's gonna call you and be like, James, even though you're a grown man, you're grounded. <laughs> Best believe you're still grounded, son. Hi mom, I had already suffered enough. And that's why that story is in the chapter titled, Perks of Being the Younger Brother. Anyways, <laughs> don't eat so much candy that you throw up. Okay, I'm gonna be talking about M&Ms for a while, so to make it go faster, instead of saying M&Ms, I'm just gonna say, mmm. In one of my older videos, <laughs> I said that my favorite candy bar was, mmm. And every time I would tell people that, they would always say, that's not a candy bar. <gasps> I just, I know it's not a, technically a bar, but it's still candy. Bro, why are you being so technical, you haters? God. I just can't do this anymore. <laughs> but then something interesting happened. A year after that video was posted, Mmm actually released a bar version of their candy. So now I can absolutely say that Mmm is my favorite candy bar and not get any weird looks. Someone get some, let them know, let the haters know. That's what you get. The marketing team sent me a box of Mmm candy bars and I think they wanted me to promote it, but because I said that Mmm's are my favorite candy bar, whenever I go to a convention, sometimes you guys bring me Mmm candy, which is very <laughs> thoughtful, but you know, I like other things too, like <laughs> Oreos and Twix and money. You know, I'm just saying, you don't have to bring me money. Hey, definitely the buddy. I, I, <laughs> I think the buddy is, is what he's really focused on. When I was visiting London, I went to the M store with my friends Adam and Mads, and if you don't know about the M London store, it's four stories tall, 35,000 square feet, and according to Wikipedia, the largest sweet store in the world. Well, now I know. Hey, who's trying to go with me? Which one of you lucky people out there watching this video is trying to go to London with me? Comment down below, baby. Kinda big. Once I stepped inside, my first thought was, Okay, this is too much. It was like the candy forest scene in Willy Wonka, except it was all chocolate and expensive. In one part of the store, you could make your own custom mmms with a picture and two phrases. So for the picture, I googled my cartoon self, held up my phone to the camera, and it bloody worked, <gasps> right? And for the phrases, naturally we wanted to write something that was meaningful, so we wrote Mad Stinks and Adam Smells. But the mmm employee didn't allow us to write that because it was too negative and went again. Straight haters, come on, bro. They hate it because they ain't us. Brand. So knowing we were not allowed to roast each other, the next phrases we decided to print was get mads and something else YT. It wasn't creative, but without being able to make fun of each other, we didn't have a lot to work with. But those phrases weren't allowed either because what? they were the names of some YouTubers, so they got flagged by the system and they told us, you'll need permission from the YouTuber even though you're both right here. Listen, boys, I'm just a mm, employee. I wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I guess. Sued. On one hand, I'm glad that mm has a system in place to prevent people from stealing, but on the other hand, it's just mmms. What do you think <laughs> we're gonna do with them? So after two failed attempts at getting the phrase we wanted, we settled on getting Adam and Mads. At least I still got my cannonball oh. guy printed, even though- That's pretty fire actually. I actually did, that's actually what I might do when I go there. This image is copyrighted, so mm, you'll be hearing from my lawyers soon. One of the disadvantages of being a YouTuber is the lack of benefits. We don't even have dental. And with all the junk food I'm eating and the flock- Oh snap, that's so true. Doing, I should probably see one. Can I confess something? I didn't know dentists were optional. I thought they summoned you to their offices like jury duty. That's what it felt like when I was a kid. I've never gotten a cavity though, at least not one that I know of. So at least I'm doing something right. Now comes the part of the video where I give you advice on eating healthy, but I'm still working on that myself. And when I don't know what to eat, I can't help but biting down on a delicious carrot. Carrots are the most popular vegetable in the world, having been nominated- I don't really eat carrots. I don't eat Brussels sprouts. Ugh, Brussels sprouts are disgusting. But listen, if you're a kid out there, eat your vegetables. Don't be like me. <laughs> orange thing ever. Use code odd one next time you purchase a carrot to get 5,000 free carrot points and a bunch of weird looks at the grocery store. I was about to say, how the heck did you? <laughs> the fuel it needs. 
You wouldn't pour soda in a car engine and expect it to run. Of course, that's not really the best metaphor to use because you also wouldn't pour water into a car and expect it to run. I guess everyone dreams- I mean, I pour water in my car every day. You should probably go check out my car now. Yeah, I remember my sister, she put diesel in her car. So if you're watching this, don't put diesel in your car because Whoa. cars and people are the same. But the point is, you've only got one body, so you should take care of it. Tot that is big facts. Hey, if you take anything out of this law, this video, please take care of your body. You only got one body, you only got one life, you only got one soul, amen. And as always, stay blessed, beautiful, and clean. I love you guys. Peace.